Thailand a good choice for master's students like who are coming for the pharma courses? What is the starting salary of a pharma guy? It's, it's a good question, you know, like because most uh, most of the students. I'm back again, so I think this is the most awaited video for all of you because most of the people asked me in the comment section to do a pharma student interview. So today I'm here with a pharma student in Ireland. So he's Ganesh. Today I'm gonna interview him. So hi Ganesh, how are you? Hi Teju, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, 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 I'm good. So can you introduce a bit about yourself to our audience? Sure. Uh, so hi everyone. Uh, my name is Ganesh. Ganesh Sonde. Uh, I'm a PharmD graduate from India. I came here in 2021 September and I did my master's here in uh, pharmaceutical regulatory affairs from say to Carlo. So that was my about my master's and currently I'm working in a quality assurance uh, profession here and uh, I'm, I belong to a pharma company here in Dublin. So that's me at the moment. Oh, okay. So what are the admission requirements for the pharma students like who are coming for masters in Ireland? So yeah, there are a couple of basic requirements I'd uh, like to tell. It's one about the English proficiency test. So it could be IELTS or Duolingo or maybe TOEFL as well. So depending on your college or university, what they demand. So it is one of the basic requirements. And again, in that thing, you need to have a specific band, uh, band of your proficiency, English proficiency, depending on, again, on the university norms. But I, and one more thing is about the life, cycle, life science background. So again, if you have a degree in life science, that will definitely help you here to pursue a uh, career in pharma. And third thing, again, like just a small thing about your CGPA, degree CGPA. So that will definitely add on thing for your scholarship. So these are the key requirements, but as such there is no any particular requirement apart from this that I feel are crucial in this thing. Yeah. So what's your course in pharma and like uh, what's your curriculum and all in your course? Sure, so like I did my master's in regulatory affairs, so that's that course name particular name is pharmaceutical regulatory affairs. So I did as I said, I did it from say two, so that's a one year course, master's course and it had like a couple of mod a couple of semesters, so that, that involves uh, writing exams. So those two semesters had their specific writing theory exams. And apart from there is an important aspect about uh, your dissertation. So dissertation is in your second semester, definitely, and that like the curriculum curriculum having like they had around seven to eight subjects. If I if I'm recording it right, there were seven to eight subjects and like four subjects for each semester, and like. The semester will be having uh, like three months of semester and then you will have your theory exam and then you will have your couple of months break and then the second semester starts and at the end of your semester, second semester, after your uh, theory exam, there is a dissertation time. So the second semester is important because that will really give you a grip on your academics and also the semester, the dissertation will start, start it from there and also like there are things about dissertation that will be covered from your academics uh, like professional, uh, what do you say, your lectures and all. But yeah, that, that is a short brief about my curriculum. Uh, two semesters and one dissertation, yeah. So, are there any internship opportunities during the program and also how the dissertation looks like? Like, is it too tough, uh, like back in India or like, it's fine? Yeah, so, yeah, definitely there are internship opportunities here in Ireland. But that starts, I guess, from the second semester. You can look for the internship opportunities from day one because uh, considering the competitions and all. But yeah, there are few uh, pharmaceutical organizations that offer those internships. And like you need to apply on their websites, they will come back to you and then this interview process and everything that will start there. But yeah, there are some inter uh, like internship opportunities. And that will really help you to pursue your career because those internship opportunities will help you to get your foot into the organization. You will know more about the culture of the companies and all those things. So yeah, it's definitely a good thing to start with, to like just to start with your, your pharma career. And second thing about dissertation, yes, uh, the dissertation is fine as per me, but again it depends on which modules or which course you are pursuing pursuing also the things that you want to pursue as your like area of interest or area of like the dissertation topic that you are choosing but again it's a good like you the lecturers or the college facility will offer you lots of help and if you have a background from india from as i said from life science background or so so that will obviously you will have a like fair least amount of knowledge from your field and that will definitely help you but yeah there are so many sources those you, those can offer you help but yeah, it's good and not that difficult if you get proper knowledge or proper guidance also yeah. So, how about the assignments in your program? Like, how they are at all? Okay, so like the assignments will be as I said, like there will be a couple of semesters, and then uh, the semesters will be having their own assignments. So, those depending on the uh, modules and all, uh, like the lecturer or the college will uh, have, like frame your assignment. So, like there could be three three assignments for each semester for a particular subject, 
and those assignments will have your those those will consist of your internal marks marks and apart from that internal marks again there will be major and minor kind of assignments and at the end of the semester that particular subject will involve those assignment marks and also the theoretical uh, theoretical exam so that is a kind of a basic framework for your assignments and yeah like there could be around 3 to 4 assignments for semester per subject and then again a dissertation will play an important part from that subject as well yeah. okay so you said your university was in carlo so so how is carlo like what are the expenses like uh, for the rent or the living expenses how is carlo to live okay yeah it's it's a good question you know like because most uh, most of the student before moving they like they want to know those things about their accommodation and all so yeah like carlo is a small county and the cost of living is a bit less compared to the other big counties and big cities like dublin cork and all those yeah the cost of living may start from depending on if you are sharing the accommodation because accommodation is having like it's the most it holds the major chunk about your uh, for your income or your cost of spending so again starts from 300 400 euros now maybe it might have risen because of the inflation and all those things so yeah depending on that but again if you are spending less on your students in your student career and also if you get a part time job there are opportunities for your part time job also now so i would say it's very like it's easy to live in carlo and survive compared to the other counties you might have to spend around 500 600 uh, euros per month if you are spending not that much depending on the personal things and all but yeah it's not that costly compared to the other county definitely yeah. <laughs> so once after your completion of the course like how was your job search like uh, have you faced any hurdles like to find a job and also uh, what was the thing like when you completed your masters here yeah sure uh, definitely like i graduated in september 2022 so that time also it was a bit competitive around me and people like uh, there were few professionals around me they came from india like me and they had several like uh, life science experience also so we faced quite a few uh, challenges during our initial months so i graduated in september i got my first job like current job in 20 uh, sorry in january 2023 so it took me around 3 to 4 months to get my first job so it was tough time i would say definitely because it is once you graduate you will think a lot about about your future and then you you want to have a you want to have a first job as soon as possible and then i think the the, the thing that really helped me is getting in touch with consultancies there are some life science uh, recruitment consultancies over here in ireland and they won't charge you obviously they are free of charge you need to be in, t- in touch with them but again it all depends on your skills also i would say uh, how you approach your job uh, job uh, employee uh, employers and then how you interact with them and again there will be competition around it's like you need to try try very hard depending on your competitions about your skills you need to do, do some certifications and all so i did do, did my some uh, few uh, certifications related to my masters and my area of interest about my job so i think those were the hurdles in three, two to three months i faced but again i think you need you don't need to give up during those times and you need to try considering the competitions and all so that was a bit short story about my dad three to four months but yeah i did get job i did got my job in uh, during uh, like in four months of my masters so uh, like what is the current job market for pharma students in ireland and also any special tips to our audience like who are planning for this intake or maybe the january intake yeah sure anything like that just hear closely yeah definitely like uh, when i was here when i graduated from my masters the situation was a bit different but currently the way the thing sta- stands are uh, like there is bit competitive it's been very competitive last since last couple of years there are lots of students who are facing some issues in the jobs as far as i know i know few pe- people who are struggling in the jobs they did have some experience from india and their home countries but still they are not they are not getting the proper jobs maybe because of the competition also there are i would say there is very less openings and there are so many people like same about the competition i would say so yeah it's it's tough at the moment also the things about uh, what is said the visa requirements they change the norms the ireland government recently in, uh, like uh, before 3 to 4 months they change their norms so now people are in pressure to get the jobs and uh, like the things are competitive even uh, to get a like a normal internship earnings i mean there are less openings and low, more people applying so yeah but again those things are here at the at the moment but they, that might change in future but to be really sure like what kind of course that you want to pursue i would say some tips definitely before moving in here moving in here may you need to do some proper research uh to know about the, your degree about your course also few more things about your jobs which job you want to target 
also definitely there are sites career sites then obviously linkedin will be a will play a crucial role you need to make some contacts you need to in touch with them you need to ask their them doubts i know people won't respond that much definitely but again you need to find some people and you need to ask some right questions to them and get some information about your courses also some job markets so if you make some contacts from india and you know people also you know some of the details about your jobs and definitely the work experience from india or from your home country will definitely play a role so yeah things are competitive but again if you do some proper research and you have some right skills the things will be rise if you play like you plan things accordingly so yeah you plan according to that and again depends on your pers- personal skills also yeah definitely that will be a my my personal tips to all the people starting salary of a farmer guy if once he got his job what will be the starting salary here in ireland uh, like salary requirements obviously it's a, it's, a, it's a important thing and uh, the thing is currently the things are different uh, like the visa requirements have currently amended from the irish government and now in order to have your critical skill visa you need to have uh, you need to have your salary for 38000 for this year again from next year i heard that they they are changing the requirements for the salary bar so currently at this time uh, for this year i would say the current requirement for is for 38000 per annum in order to get a critical skill visa so if you if you are fresher they are offering i think around 35 36 of 36000 per annum but yeah they they might increase the salary depending on the visa requirement they know the visa requirements but the fresher is like the fresher stands from 36 to 38 and also it might be it might be more depending on the company if you are if you are having a senior job level 2 job also that will be around more than 42000 but again these things do are different in bio processing and some of the analytical chemistry or something like that those jobs will have their more uh, salaries but i think for a fresher or for a, for a person who is getting their first job it will definitely start more than 38000 uh, to 42000 that is the basic requirement okay ganesh So is Ireland a good choice for master students like who are coming for the pharma course especially so uh, is it a good choice and how was your experience and how was your like personal thought about the all over course and the country Oh uh, yeah like just to start with like definitely Ireland is a good choice for the people who are uh, wa- who wants to spend less for their master definitely because if you consider other countries like Canada Australia New Zealand or maybe USA they have lots of uh, you need to spend a lot about your masters on your masters and even the cost of living and also so that's been law like bit more in those countries but i think ireland is a good choice for people who want to pay less and also like that will totally depend on your personal choice but as for me it's a good choice for me. it was a good choice for me and i'm i'm satisfied with my decision to be to move over here and to pursue my education and to talk about job definitely like there were challenges as i said in earlier and i faced those challenges and i think everybody most like most of the students go through those challenges for their job markets and also so but yeah but to, uh, all in all ireland is a good choice and my experience was good to get a job and to like to start to settle over here so i think it's a good choice but again considering all the opportunities and the competition currently uh, where we stand now it's like been very competitive at the moment because there are lots of students from all the countries asian countries especially they are coming here with the like with the amount of experience they have they are facing also struggles in my network so i will i would say it's very crucial that before moving here you need to have a proper research of your jobs also you need if you have the experience before moving here that's that's a really top top thing that you need to think about because the experience that you will have from your home countries that will really offer you to pursue your career and most of the employees will like look for the people who have already jobs or who are already there in the corporate sector so that will really depend on your which sector you are working which streamline you are working in india so yeah those are the things but again as i said ireland is a good choice comparatively when uh, to the other countries depend uh, like uh, concerned about your cost of living and all those things so yeah definitely it's a good choice to move in thank you so much ganesh thank you for your valuable information and your time thank you for giving a lot of information to our audience so yeah that's it for today see you in the next vlog so if you have any doubts in this video please do let me know in the comment section and if you like the video please do like share and, and subscribe, subscribe.